it was like a breeze. Watch the car. Yes. Hey there. So Eric just picked me up from my work, and now we're going to be going to Joshua Tree. I decided to leave early from work at around four, um, so I got in super early this morning, and I took it up really early because there's going to be a lot of traffic on the way over. So wish us luck. It says it's going to be about three and a half hours. Five hours later. Hey. hey. So we're here. We're stopping for some In-N-Out because we've been on the road for so long. <gasps> and we're starving and we ran through an entire bag <laughs> of Skinny Pop. <laughs> it was so bad. I was like reaching over and like eating while I was driving. Not and almost getting into a car accident. <laughs> like every two minutes. <sighs> Luckily not, but. Thank goodness. Yeah. Eric picked me up from work. Yeah. Well, I drove over to your work and I you were driving. <laughs> <laughs> True. I picked you up and made you drive. So. It's okay. My car is made for it. Your car. Yeah, maybe V8 made for the desert. <laughs> um, um, enjoy your journey. Bye, guys. So after a quick stop, we came here at our amazing Airbnb right at sunset. Honestly, it could not have been more perfect timing. And we would highly, highly, highly recommend getting an Airbnb. We'll leave the link in the description to the one that we got here. It was so, so beautiful. The owners had amazing in contact with us. They left us this cute little sign right here. And the thing that was most special about it is it had a huge collection of vinyl records. Me and Eric honestly have never really even tried out vinyl records. I don't know if that's making a show our age, but we had an amazing time just dancing around, enjoying our time together alone in the desert. Would highly, highly recommend. After a long night of drinking, amazing food, and super fun music, me and Bradley managed to somehow get up at 5 a.m. to catch one of the most beautiful and majestic sunrises that either of us have ever seen. We went back to sleep and woke up a good four hours later and grabbed some brunch in Palm Springs. And then we decided to venture out in the desert, see what we could find. We ended up stumbling upon an incredible outdoor museum of this amazing artist named Noah Profi. We honestly had no clue what we were getting ourselves into. They had a super awesome welcome sign. Once we walked through the welcome sign, we went to a really cool looking, uh, kind of subterranean room, you could say. Um, it was actually really cool. I'd probably say like 10 to 15 degrees cooler. And it had a really nice breeze inside the room. Walking around this art exhibit was super awesome. They had a ton of cool exhibits for us to check out. Some of our favorites included a desert igloo, this was really fun. Uh, me and Bradley thought it'd be kind of a cool idea to have one of these in our backyard one day. We also had a cool backdrop that we thought would be nice for a photo shoot. Uh, it was a white stage and we thought that it'd be kind of cool. We came back one day, took some photos here. I thought that we could come in some kind of westerny looking outfits. All denim would look really nice here. Uh, another really cool thing that we saw was the vacuum train. And it was a kind of a funny exhibit. It's, it's so cute actually. <laughs> a little vacuum train. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, one of the kind of creepier ones that we saw was a bunch of pairs of pants that were kind of stuffed and made to look like they were full of legs and a bunch of shoes. Um, kind of a creepy one just because it looked like a bunch of people were standing there and we couldn't see their heads. But uh, still cute nonetheless and a cool exhibit. Everything you see here are our first reactions, but honestly, upon doing further research, his background and artwork just they make profound statements about society, segregation, through a Dadaist and surrealist lens. His stuff is, as you can see, whimsical, sobering, and surreal. And there's this awesome foundation that's supporting it. And it's been here for almost three decades in the middle of the desert. So if you like what you see here, please go donate or visit the place yourself. It's seriously amazing. Ooh, they got the Mercedes though. I don't know why, but these look like teeth. Ew, they do. <laughs> scary. By this point, we'd been there almost an hour, and it honestly started feeling like it was 10,000 degrees outside. So we embarked on our next trip. Alrighty guys, so uh, we just finished up over at the really cool outdoor art museum, and now we're decided we're gonna go check out a really cool looking rock, see if we can maybe climb on it a little bit, maybe get some pictures. And yeah, we picked up some waters because it's literally 110 degrees. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> it's finally summertime. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now we have it to the rock and we'll see if we can get there. There it is. We made it. Wow. Woohoo!
but we decided maybe let's not go. Because it's a homeless encampment as well. Yeah. <laughs> and on the side of that rock, it says Bloods are Queers, which is kind of just... Questionable. Not the... There it is. Not the... Not the most welcoming message. We later found out that this guy named Frank Kritzer actually used to live under the rock in the 1930s. And nowadays it's popularly used for UFO conventions. We had a few more outdoor stops in mind, but we decided to go to a thrift store instead. It's like, I can't even think about wearing something like a sweater right now in this heat. I know, but, I it's, know, but like in the winter time, I feel like this would be like a really cool sweater. It's yeah. It's like an easy thing to throw on, like some jeans and like some Yeah, jeans, it's like know? a cool piece. How much is it? Um, 22 bucks. Not bad. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my god, it's meant to be. Okay, yeah, we're getting it. Perfect. What do you find? Uh, I found this like Harley Davidson, it's like Windbreaker. Ooh, Harley very Davidson cute. It's very like, but I feel like. It's kind of but I feel like it's also not as eh, so like yeah. you could totally, you could totally rock, you know what I mean? Ooh, I actually like that. Ooh, that's cute, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really? I like it a lot, yeah. Show them like the details. Oh, it's like California. <laughs> this cutie pie. <laughs> that one's definitely, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, see now I have an amazing sweater that I'm excited to wear in the winter. Uh -huh. And we got this amazing denim jacket for 30 bucks. What? <laughs> This was like the craziest find. My goodness. Wow, <sighs> I'm so hyped. Yay! Yay! A little too excited there. <laughs> I literally want to hold this denim jacket up there with me. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's like my baby. Because remember, I lost my other one that I was like so in love with and was like just starting to get kind of worn in. Yeah. Just starting to like get a little faded. <sighs> Thank God I found mm, it. It's like a kid with his um, Christmas present. I know. Just want to hold like, it. I need like G.I. Joe and I'm like, oh my God, I want to hold it. <laughs> oh my God, I am so hyped. Next stop, I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, so we just got back from our trip to Joshua Tree. We so stopped fun. and did some shopping on the way back. This cutie almost got some new Wyatts from Yves Saint Laurent, but uh, they didn't have a size. size. Uh. But um, yeah, we're back now. Uh, we just showed up to Bradley's um, work, and that's where I left my car over the night. And yeah, um, we just want to say thank you guys so much for coming along with us on our trip. It was and an amazing trip. we hope you all enjoyed the vlog. Bye, guys. Like and subscribe. Bye.